knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee. God said the Israelite man and woman has rejected knowledge. They have rejected knowledge. You believe in everything that the oppressor has to give you other than the knowledge of God. Right. And a lot of you, we don't wrong you because this is a belief system taught us in slavery. We were taught to obey our masters. Right. You were taught to always obey the white man even though today you clearly see he's not your master, but you willfully, you willfully obey your oppressor, right. the so-called white man. Bring it out. That's because we reject God's knowledge. So they gave you Christianity. You don't want to keep the laws of the Hebrew, the Israelites. You don't want to keep the laws of your forefathers. So okay, we're going to give you Christianity. And the oppressor knows that. He knows the longer you are absent-minded about who you are and how to serve your God, he will always have you oppressed. Right. He knows that. We're the only ones walking around here stupid and dumb, not knowing that we are not the same as everybody else. Right. Right. That's why God said, my people, my people, God has his chosen people that he's dealing with on the face of this earth. And it's not hard to tell. It's not hard to tell who God's people are. Just look at who's the people on section eight. Right. Look at who's on the corners. Right. Look at who's killing each other. Right. Look at who's populate the prison system. Right. It's not hard to tell who God's people are. You can see it right now in front of your face. Who's on section eight? Who's the last hired in the first fire? Right. Who's killing each other for a stimulus check right now? It's not hard to tell who God's people are. We're the ones always oppressed. We're the ones always suffering. We're the ones always killing each other. That's one of the most evident signs of who God's people are. We don't know who we are. We don't know who our God is. So we don't know who our neighbors are. We rather love the other nation, respect the other nations, more than you love your own kind. Right. Once again, I don't wrong you. You may not know who your kind is. You was brought up being told, love everybody, love the whole world. That is a lie. Right. God did not tell you to love the whole world in every nation. Yeah. Because all and every nations don't love our God. Right. If they don't love your God, they surely don't love you. Yeah. And what's crazy is they know he's God. They know he's God. But to the fact that you're astray from who you are, they're going to keep oppressing you. Read that again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee, uh -huh. that thou shalt be no priest to me. Thou shalt not be no priest to the Most High God. Why? Because we're not speaking truth. We're not living in truth. We're not prophesying truth. God said, I don't want no man speaking lies to be a priest to me. Those men in your, Christ, in your Christian church pushing Christianity, they are no priests to God. To people who come to you and ask, Bishop, why is this happening to us? How are you bringing them comfort right now? The emotional fallout from this can be as devastating as, as the virus itself. This is a time for the church to be the church. We are going into a global recession. Nearly 17 million seeking benefits. I think every church, every person, every human being, every corporation has a responsibility to help America get through this time and ultimately the world. And well, the Potter's House has enlisted in the help of several chefs to cook 1,000 meals for first responders. We're feeding people, we're serving people, we're reaching out to people in need. In every opposition, there is an opportunity. I hope that it makes us love one another more. You said something yesterday in the sermon. You said, don't let Corona steal the headlines from Christ. I just wanted to speak a word of calm and solidarity. And uh, I just recognize the significance of what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm using every means possible to do it. Never actually done this on the air. Uh, can you lead us in, in prayer?
Yes, I can. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every issue and every concern on our hearts is up under your auspicious grace. We look to you, Lord, to be the source, the strength, the help, the light that we need. This is a moment that we must stand together. This is a moment that we must bow together. This is a moment that we must pray together. Prayer knows no boundaries. Blanket the world with your love and your peace and your power. Let healing flow. Hey. They are priests for themselves, for their pockets, for their gluttony. But they're not priests to the Most High God. Right. That's not written in this book of the gospel. That's not written in the truth. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee. And that's what God is doing right now. Rejecting our people because we fail to seek him. We fail to understand who he is. That's not interesting to you. That's not interesting to you to find out why these brothers on the corner every Saturday running their mouth like that. That's not interesting to you. It's just a spectacle to you. You think we don't have nothing better to do. Well, I'll inform you, this is the best thing to do in this town. This is the best thing to do is to reveal to the Israelite man and woman that the end is right here, knocking at your door. Then you gotta choose whether you wanna be the one third that's gonna survive the desolation of America, right. or you're gonna be part of the two thirds that burn with America. Bring it out. And that is not a lie. Give me the truth and John. Bring it out. We lack in knowledge, and when we think we know something, you don't know nothing. Right. Because what you've been taught is a lie. Right. You can go to all your universities, all your Princetons, all your Harvard. They will not tell you you are the children of God. That's right. They rather tell you you are Gentiles. Right. They rather tell you get into Christianity. Right. You don't know who you are. You cannot come out of oppression. Bottom line. When you're being taught what the world claims to be knowledge, it is a lie according to God. Right. Understand that clear. I don't care what masters, what doctor's degree you have. You've been taught a lie all your life. Right. Read. John chapter 17, verse 17. Bring it out. Sanctify them through thy truth. Sanctify them through thy what? Thy truth. So the black man, the so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic man, was supposed to be set apart. Set apart with what? Thy truth. The truth of God. Right. That's what's going to set us apart from every other soul that's on the face of this earth. The truth of God. Who has the truth of God? Is it your Creflo Dollar? Is it T.D. Jakes? Those, those men? Do those men have the truth of God? What have you been learning? A young man just passed here a while ago, and he said, this is interesting. I'll look into it. I said, look into what? Did your church teach you that Christ was black? He said, no. I said, well, aren't we supposed to be living in the spirit of truth? How come you being taught a Christ that never exists? When in Christianity, they said we're supposed to be living in the spirit of truth. There's no white man in the Bible. Get out. Get out. Esau is not Christ. Hey. What kind of spirit is that? That's a lying spirit. We've been taught lies. The more lies that you're being taught, the further away you are from the truth. The further away you are from the knowledge of God. And we're back right into the same mix. It's a full circle. Right. You're back to the poverty. You're back to killing each other. Right. You're back to not knowing who you are. Read that. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Read. As thou hast sent unto me into the world, uh -huh. even so have I also sent them into the world. So listen, give me John 8, 31, 32. John chapter 8, verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, uh -huh. if ye continue in my word. If you, if you do what? If ye continue in my word. And this is the knowledge that our people have strayed away from. We don't believe in this Bible thing because you always been given a what? A white Jesus. 
How could the same man that raped, killed, castrated, castrated you, sold you to slave ships, sold you to other nations, be the one that reveals your true identity to you? Good. So when we tell you of this Christ, you thinking of Esau. You thinking of Edom. When we speak of Christ, don't get it twisted. We always speaking of a black Messiah. Right. That's what the Bible says the Son of God is. Right. The Son of God is a black Messiah. That's right. But our people has been taught different. So when we are here telling you about Christ, you keep thinking of white Jesus. Right. We're not dealing with white Jesus over here. Right. We are dealing with the true image of God through his son Christ. Read that again. No. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. So you Jews, you Jews, you so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics, you so-called native, you Jews that believe in God, read. If ye continue in my word, you got to follow Christ. If you say you love God, there's no loving God without following Christ. And you get lost sometimes. You don't know that Christ. You've been bamboozled by the Roman Catholic Church. Right. You don't know the true image of Christ. Right. So I guess it's hard for you to follow. It's hard for you to understand what we're saying. Yeah. Read. Then are ye my disciples. Then are you what? My disciples. Ain't nobody a child of God if you're not following a black Messiah. Right. And that black Messiah is not here for everybody. Read. Then are ye my disciples indeed. Read. And ye shall know the truth. Uh huh. And the truth shall make you free. You shall know what? Ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And that's what we spreading out here. We spreading the love of God, which is the truth. The truth is hard. Sometimes it's harsh. And our people has always liked to hear smooth things. They don't want to hear the truth. Bring it out. You don't want to hear that you are the bottom ass of society. Right. I don't care what Gucci belt you got on. I don't care what kind of car Ferrari you driving. You still in the hood. Right. Right. None of our people are in government making the big decisions that we need to come out of poverty. Right. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much racks you making. Right. You probably making those racks destroying your people, Bring destroying your community. Right. right. When are we going to start going over, going over your little hood stories right. and start being in rulership positions? Bring it out. Right now, the Israelite man and woman are not in rulership positions. Right. And that's what God created us to be. He created us to be in rulership. But once again, due to the lack of knowledge, due to the lies that you've been taught, you don't know that you're supposed to be in a position of rulership. Bring it out. You have made to believe that you can, you always have to be a servant. You always have to work for the other nations. And this is why our state of mind is an oppressed state of mind. We don't teach our children to be business owners. We don't teach our children to own corporations. We tell them, go get a job. That's a Christian mindset. But guess what? Although it is a Christianity mindset, the white man don't teach his kids that. The white man don't tell his kids, go work for somebody. Right. They tell their kids to own the business. What's wrong with you? You lacking knowledge. You we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.